Hi, welcome to Julius Bar. Today we're gonna check out some cherries. So this is my first video since coming back from Italy. And uh, once in Italy, I got the chance to visit the Luxardo shop near the Luxardo distillery and I bought some cherries. So today we're gonna test our cherries in a simple Manhattan variation. We have our Marena Fabri, which are my standard cherries and they are the only one easily available here in Japan. Then we have the standard Luxardo Maraschino cherry and then we have the Luxardo Ciliegie con cherry brandy. These are inside some brandy made of also cherries and it comes at 19% ABV. And to test with cherries, I'm just gonna steer myself a simple Manhattan variation. And while I do that, maybe I'm gonna tell you a few more stories. Let's start with a couple of drops of Angostura. We go on with 7.5 milliliters of Sangue Morlacco. Sangue Morlacco is the Luxardo version of a cherry herring, a cherry brandy. I think it should match well the topic of today. I think I want to test it against the cherry herring from Denmark one day, but today we are just going to have a bit. I don't have original bottle because I left that in Italy. I just brought back a small sample. Ah, we are missing vermouth. As usual, I'm going to use uh, Antica formula. I'm going to use 22.5 milliliters of Antica formula. Bit more. There you go. And then I'm gonna complete with some bourbon. I'm gonna use Maker's Mark. And I'm gonna use 60 milliliters. It's 45% ABV. Oh. One. Two. Then I think I'm gonna get one big block of ice. which I'm gonna make slightly wet to start the dilution going. There you go. And then I'm gonna stir it. So, how did I end up at the Luxardo store? Funny story. A few months ago, in the spring, we booked a trip to the Kolyogane, which is this really nice eels in uh, Italy, in Veneto. I thought, like, well, that's a really nice place. There are some hot springs, blah, blah, blah. We booked the trip, then uh, we finally went back to Italy this summer, in July, and we go there. And while we are visiting, at some point, I see a Luxardo sign, and then, I remember why I suggested Koliugani. I suggested Koliugani because the Luxardo distillery was there and I really wanted to visit it. We didn't visit the distillery, I just stopped by the store. I bought a lot of stuff. I talked to the guy there, which I think is part owner of the thing. And I will have more Luxardo products featured in upcoming episodes. And anyway, that's how I ended up there. I think I was searching the origin of the Luxardo uh, brand and distillery. And in the past, they used it to be in Zara, which I forgot what's called in uh, Croatian, because now it's a Croatian town. There's been like a couple of world war in between. And so Luxardo at some point changed their distillery location from what's nowadays Croatia, it used to be Italy, to Veneto. And that's where I ended up. So now that, you know, all this story, let's prepare our coup. Let's strain our simple Manhattan variation. And then let's decorate with three cherries. So let's start with Amarena Fabri, probably the most popular syrup cherries in Italy. These, they go pretty much 
everywhere amarena ice cream is one of the places you will find them in many bars you will still see nowadays a big jar of this there on the shelf on top then let's open this luxardo maraschino cherries these are the most popular cherries with bartenders around the world and uh, I don't know if I, I tried a couple in Italy but let's try them again side by side against the Amarena Fabri this technically they are not called Amarena but they are really similar they are called Marasca Sincerely, I don't know what's exactly the difference. And then for the last one, we are going to have a cherry. These are way lighter in color, probably because they have less syrup of cherries and they have more cherry brandy. And this one goes here. So let's start by having a sip of this Manhattan. Mm, this Manhattan is good pretty normal I kept the cherry brandy amount uh, really low so it doesn't have that huge impact maybe next time I'm gonna put a bit more but that's beside the point today we are here for the cherries so first of all I'm gonna try this one the Luxardo normal cherry and let's see how it tastes like mm. It's really delicious. The pulp has a bit more consistency than the Amarena Fabri, I think. Well, let me try the wave Amarena Fabri. So we're gonna have a fair comparison. Mm. Amarena Fabri is a bit sweeter. The pulp of a cherry has a bit more give to it it's a bit softer the skin of a cherry of a luxardo is just slightly harder like it has been cooked less i don't know do we cook them they're both excellent the luxardo one just feels a tad more genuine like more like healthy the amarena fabri is a bit sweeter and he has that kind of a special flavor where just some products have in the history like Nutella like there are thousands of choco cream but Nutella is Nutella the same goes for this there is only one Amarena Fabri and they put something in their syrup which is really delicious and distinctive Luxardo just feels a tad more refined Amarena Fabri feels a, a tad more guilty pleasure let me have one more sip and let's try the cherry in the cherry brandy so this is gonna be a bit alcoholic mm -hmm. wow this is pretty delicious too of course it has more alcohol it's less sweet the cherry pulp feels really good really genuine it has a nice chew to it it's delicious i'm not a big fan of cherries in alcohol i think sometimes it can be too strong i think the cherry should be like just a treat for you inside a drink that's already alcoholic this one though at 19 percent abv it's really delicious it's not too strong i think it matches well the alcoholic content of a cocktail like this like a manata that was really good so there are no loser in this cherry competition my suggestion if you like alcoholic cherries cherries dipped in uh, some brandy or other kind of alcohol these luxardo cherries which actually says flambar la frutta sotto spirito the guy from luxardo told me they use some brandy from uh, piemonte in the northwest of uh, italy these are delicious if instead you just want to have some normal cherries in your drink both luxardo and damarena fabri are both excellent 
I don't think I feel too bad about using a Marina Fabri instead of Luxardo as they are definitely more readily available here in Japan. Depending on your market, check out what uh, is available. Both are really good options. Luxardo are probably going to be slightly more expensive, but uh, overall uh, you cannot go wrong. If I had a gun pointed to my head, which one I will choose? I don't know. I will probably get shot and eat both of those. So if you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, comment down below. Eat yourself some cherries, not too much because you may get into some problems of uh, digestion. See yourself a drink and hopefully I will see you next time. Cheers. By the way, I have a lot more Luxardo products I bought at the Luxardo store. I have the Sangue Morlacco, which is this. I have uh, the Fernet. I have a special Green Amaro, which uh, the guy there said it's similar to a Absan, and I'm not quite sure about that, but we are gonna test that one too. On top of that, I already have the Tree Plume, and I think I'm gonna test all these Luxardo products against some of their main competitors in the global market of alcoholic beverages. Mm-hmm.